Welcome back to Cosmos Anonymous. I am your favorite girl with vintage and today's video is just going to be a quick eyebrow routine because I have recently threaded my brows so I wanted to get this routine out there because a lot of you have been requesting me for it and yeah it's perfect to do right now because it's easiest to do your eyebrows when they are freshly either tweezed, waxed, or threaded. I personally prefer to wax, but I recently switched back to threading because threading is actually better and the results last longer. So if you do not thread, I suggest that you do thread. The reason I don't like it is because of the pain, but everybody's pain threshold is different, so it doesn't really matter um, what you do as long as you maintain your eyebrows. So let's get right on into this. You're going to need a couple of things. You will need your eyebrow brush. So this is the brush that I actually use every day to do my eyebrows or whenever I'm wearing makeup. This is the MAC 263 brush, one of the best angled brushes I've ever used ever. You're going to need some sort of spoolie. It doesn't matter which spoolie. I'm going to use the one that comes attached to the end of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And so it just looks like that. Unfortunately, the product is done so I can't etch my brows in. Oh, is it working? No, it's not. And lastly, you are going to need a flat brush to clean up your brows once they are on or filled in. 99% of the time, I go in with Dip Down. This is a fluid gel liner by MAC. It's a fluid line and it's just a deep brown color. But if you are penny pinching and you want to save a little bit of your coin, then you can always use the Maybelline version, which is um, the iStudio gel liner in the shade brown. They both virtually work the exact same. It's all preference. To clean up your brows, you always want to use a concealer that is the same or closest to the same color as your skin. It's going to blend out anyway. You don't want to use a concealer that is way too light because you're going to have the floating brow thing and that ain't cute ever in life. So you want to definitely use a concealer that is close to your skin tone. I'm going to use Fawn and that's what I'll clean up my brows with. This is an LA Girl concealer and it is like $2.99 or $3.99, whatever. Um, and you get this at the beauty supply warehouse. So my skin is going through a bit, okay? I know you guys haven't seen me do like a makeup story in a minute, but I've been eating a lot of junk, which is not good. But you just wanna gently kind of brush your eyebrow hairs into the neatest position possible. So I usually brush up and back or brush up and downward. And I was actually really hesitant to do this because um, my eyebrows are not the same. Like this one is longer and this one is shorter, in, especially in terms of where the arch is. Like this one, the arch is right here. This one, the arch is all the way over here. So this eyebrow tends to look shorter a lot and it's really, really frustrating to work with. So. Um, yeah it's best to fill in your eyebrows with a clean brush so mine isn't clean but um, I'm just taking a piece of t uh, paper towel and I'm just wiping out the brush onto that if there is any excess oh, excess makeup in it it'll come out in the on the paper towel you just want to dip into your dip down or whatever product you're using you don't need too much really if you do take too much, just wipe it on the back. Oh, wipe it on the back of your hand like so, and work with what's on your brush. And so the way I start my eyebrows, or the way I do my eyebrows, is I start at the base right here. And I do not change the shape of my brows. I just try to go with the natural shape that they are. Do the bottom line first. Bring your tail out to however far you want it. Some people like it all the way to the damn hairline. I'm with the shits. And then you're gonna take your spoolie and you're gonna pull the product upward. 
and blend it into the hairs. I prefer for my eyebrows to look between natural and painted. Like I just like them to be filled in. I'm not the type of person that likes my eyebrows to look like, you know, they're not made of hair because they're definitely made of hair. If you have, if you don't have a lot of eyebrow hair, um, your eyebrows are more likely going to look like they're painted on. Whereas if you do have eyebrows even when you wipe your makeup off you can do them like this and they'll still look really great so when it comes to doing the top and filling in the top of my brow I like to start back here not all the way up to the front but maybe like two-thirds of the way and I just like to take the natural shape and then wipe some off And fix it up a tip to filling in your eyebrows is never use black ain't no black eyebrows made like no never ever use black when I first started doing my makeup I made that mistake never again so for now we're just gonna leave that brow we're gonna try to fill this one in and we're gonna try to even them out um, even though this one is the shorter brow and this is actually the eyebrow I prefer this one looks like it's on fucking steroids so we'll see what happens I don't know what happened because you know what when I I used to have my eyebrows thinner than this and when they were they were so much easier to work with so much easier to fill in it wasn't an issue but now that they're thicker it's like I don't know where I went wrong but one of these damn eyebrow ladies got me fucked up and it's just never been the same. So now with what's left on the brush, I kind of lightly just dust the front. But you don't want it to look boxy, so you just do that to get the shape and then you're going to take a shadow of your choosing, preferably brown. So I'm just going to dip into my chocolate bar palette. And you don't want to take a color that's too dark. So this is a sp this is um triple fudge. That is too dark. That is a color that you would put on the tail of your brows. Supreme. Also, I prefer to do my I prefer to put my foundation on and then do my eyebrows. For the purpose of this video, I didn't put any foundation on. I just wanted to show you guys how to fill them in. But I definitely prefer to get my foundation on and then go back in with my eyebrow products. I'm going to grab Espresso by MAC instead, which is a dark brown. And I'm just going to lightly dust it through the front of my brow. So you're just going to take your fond concealer, I'm just going to pump some out on the back of my hand. You want to take a flat brush, the, my preferred brush, I just don't know where the hell it is right now, is the MAC 242. It's really flat and really precise, but this one's pretty flat too. It's just a quill brush. I'm, I'm going to line or conceal the bottom of the brow first and I'm pretty much gonna take this down to the eyelid because if I'm doing this is something I would do if I'm wearing like an eyeshadow look I'll just conceal my entire eyelid so that I don't have to prime it because this is actually one of the best eyeshadow primers ever even though it's a concealer and you just want to take your time with this 
and you want to use the tip of the brush to get that precision line like And it's always good to have your beauty blender on hand. You actually want to hold your brush at a downward angle and use the tip of the brush to keep precise. And then, of course, use your beauty blender or whatever you want to use. You can even use a brush to blend out around your eyebrow because you don't want it to be too solid lines. And remember to keep your face relaxed as you're doing this because if you have your face like this or like this and you start to do your concealer, one of your eyebrows is going to be way wonkier than the other and you don't need that problem. You can always just take a brush and really get in there and blend that line out because I honestly hate it. Like, there's no need for the line to be there. So once you do all that, if you look, my eyebrows look fine. If you're really, really picky and you get frustrated easily, you want to take your time with your eyebrows. If you look at your eye, if I look dead on right now, I look at my eyebrows, I notice that this eyebrow in the front is more on an angle than the other eyebrow, whereas this one is just straight up square. Um, I may try to fix it, but I'm the type of person that'll get pissed, so i rather just leave my shit alone. It is what it is. Sisters, not twins. I said this in my other eyebrow routine. Eyebrows are definitely sisters and not twins. If they are twins, then bitches fraternal as fuck. I've never seen anybody with two perfect eyebrows, so... You can't let it bother you too much. But as long as they look good, I mean, why complain? So, that is it for this eyebrow tutorial. I am going to meet my face and get ready to tell y'all a story.